the articles out, so he must yes. have realized. Miss Blackwell. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. Oh, I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist, you have a seat. Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. I don't I think he's well, actually, doing it on yes. purpose. Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, yes I have. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. The page is blank. You haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. There's dust. To be honest. Forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. From where she stands, you could perfectly there. see. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business. Oh, yes it is. Now, if you'll excuse me. It totally is my business. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. It's just a coincidence. No, it's Anything not. Anything about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this <laughs> brow. If he ain't lying, I'm dying, so to speak. Well, I mean, you did. Um, yeah, call you this are bluff. a very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't oh, understand. Oh, I'm a good you understander. You're surprised at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. Who are you, anyway? You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I, See? I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. See, I, I knew it. That, can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. That's a tall story. And that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? Uh, How did this happen? Good question. Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably. So you're not sure? Not as such, no. Well then, I appreciate you trying, but not before if you left well enough alone. Well, no. I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. People die when I write. So, I don't write. The problem solved. Yeah, but... <sighs> don't you want to write again? Oh, yes. But people are safe as long write as... About write about me. I've always wanted to try a hand at fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured, you can. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what. But I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Just... If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. Oh? And tell them what? All those deaths? All killed the same way? So soon after you met them? I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? <laughs> I didn't say anything. You know what? Go right yeah, ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You, you want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to Hell work. yeah. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean. Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. I know what I'm doing. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. Yeah, oh, do it. Pussy. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Oh, well. Oh. Was that all? But. Quiet. Right. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father. You getting this stuff down? <laughs> I think this is a genius plan. Nothing can go wrong. Well, I hope you're happy. I'm well, never happy. I'm never happy. <laughs> oh my god, she's my spirit animal. Never happy. She's so going to kill us. 
we have martyred ourselves uh, as a as the next victim of um, the Countess. Joey isn't too happy about it, but you know, it's none of his business. So we're waiting for the Countess. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this rod's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. That's true. When do you think she'll get here? Soon enough. No, I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. So, any thought on how to handle her? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand you're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. And what happens to me, huh? You die, what the heck happens to me? You just go to the next one. Whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby. Aww. I'm sure you guys I think Joey has baby. feelings for yeah, Lauren. Great. Alright, I'll just... Like, leave you to actual it. feelings. Yeah. Not just buddy-wise, but... She's here. I think he loves her. her Alright, let's uh, open up the door. We are so going to die. Um, <laughs> let's open up. Watching you. So, what's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. Do you have a guide? A spirit guide? I still feel her. She is gone, her. but not completely gone. What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes, she snapped my mind. She went away, and my world expanded. I see everything. Everything. It hurts. Wow. You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guy? So at least she yes. knows. The non-guy. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. Well, not but years, tonight, because the last he one was half a year ago. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I, I'm here to so, help you. So that's a bit You're of a... to kill me. No! I don't kill! I, I see. will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to fight for our lives. Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know... Same. <laughs> Joey. I was happy. Aww. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but I it think feels the, bad. Uh, the spirit guide might have been a countess. Because I... Doubt that someone is ca called Countess. Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? Will I become like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Aww. Loved? Loved by who? By oh, Joey. Pain, my child. Joey loves Let you. Me help you. Uh oh. I'd like to help you instead. Help me? I need no help. Yes, you do. You need to be free. Uh oh. Hey, um. Let her go, you old witch. Damn it! I can't do anything. Fight her, Lauren. F fight back, damn you! She has a cigarette. Um, Boca. Oh my god, I can't believe that helps. Uh, Joey, Joey. Right. That's 
what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her. No, she needs my help. Hey, you want to help someone? Why don't you help me? You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. Oh, I know what we're doing. Wait, I'm supposed to help her. Oh, my head. I know what to do. I, I think I know what we're doing. I'll save you. No, the connection is gone. I cannot save you. No, yeah. I can still save her. Hey, I said hey. I need help. Help? I probably need to move a bit further away. I'm in pain. What are you going to do about it? I can help you. Yeah, I needed to step back a little bit. You're past your I know what I we're doing. You can handle it. You. Come on, then make with the saving. You need me? Oh my god, we're going to push her off the balcony. Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. You're so good at helping. Let's see you help me. I will set you free. <laughs> oh, come on. What are you waiting for? I, I this want is so cruel. Why won't you let me help you? Uh, Joey? Lauren, push her off. I'm sorry. I can't look, is she? Yeah. There's no... No ghost. She's oh gone. my god. Gone. We killed someone. <laughs> it was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? What if, what if that's me one day, huh? What if I'm old and confused and alone? You won't be alone. I'll make sure of Aww, that. Aw, Joey! You say that now. But look at her. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her, and then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here, and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? No. Isn't it? Yeah. It's something. Aw, oh, so yeah, that's the end of uh, Blackwell Unbound. Guess we're calling Jack? You don't need to do this. Hello? Hi, Jack? Lauren, sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack. It's Aww. me. Where have you been? It's not important. I miss you. Tell me about your life, Jack. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is oh, so they hadn't been married wedding. yet. So yeah, it's the end of uh, Blackwell Unbound, the second game of the Blackwell series. Um, it's, you know, like the first one, the art is nice, the music is good, um, like this song is beautiful. Um, but yeah, like the art style as well. This time the music is by Thomas uh, Regan. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect for the the next games. Uh, I think we're going back to Rosangela at some point, though. So Lauren Blackwell by Danny Marco. And yeah, uh, Ape uh, still uh, did the voice for Joey. <laughs> Daryl, yeah, okay, I thought that was the same voice actor. Shelly. <laughs> she did her, the voice of Harriet. <laughs> Alright. 
the beta testers to some of the people that worked on it as well. They missed some small mistakes, but uh, you know, voice line mistakes. Um, to be honest, it did bother me too much. Mom and Dad are still in the special thanks. <laughs> and coffee, again. <laughs> So yeah, I, I did enjoy the game. Um, I like Rosangela a bit more as a... Real ugly is the special activation code. <laughs> During this game, Lauren smoked 37 cigarettes and Joey was hit five times by Isaac's saxophone. I guess you can do it with less. Bonus one are the bloopers and the directing. Bonus two are the concept art. Bonus 3 are the extra music tracks, and bonus 4 is uh, commentary. So like last time, I will um, get the, the bonus content in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, I am first of all going to do the bonus uh, episode, and after that I'm just going to start the next game. I think the next game is uh, Blackwell Convergence. I'm not sure though, <laughs> but I think it is the next one. So um, I will see you either for the bonus episode or for the first episode of the next Blackwell game. Bye! That her lover star, that's when solitude begins.